This video is made for adult collectors. Enjoy. Jetfire. Probably one of the best parts of Revenge of the Fallen. Kinda wish he got a lot more screen time before he died, but eh, writer strike and all that. The original leader was fine, but it's not accurate and it's clunky as hell. It's cool, but it has issues. The Studio Series one though, is a hell of a lot nicer. Jetfire here just has a better stature over the original one. His proportions are much cleaner next to the movie model as well. He definitely needs more wing segments though. And yes, I know the DNA kit exists and no, I'm not getting it. I'm gonna start with the head because it's my biggest issue with the toy. Well, one of them anyways. The squinting, it, it looks pretty bad. Like, I don't like how his eyes are basically slits. They weren't like that in the film. He actually had eyeballs, but here he's just squinting all the time. It looks weird. And two, the head articulation, which I will get into in greater detail later, but it is very limited in certain areas, making expression quite hard. I do like how you can flare out the back wing sections. I do that on mine. It makes it look a lot more like jet fire on screen to me. I think the paintwork is great. While there are some areas that could use more, what is here does a pretty good job. I will say I don't understand the little yellow circle on the feet nor on the cockpit section. I don't remember that being on the actual jet and I have seen the actual jet. So I, I, I mean, I just, I don't remember. The legs feel a bit too skinny especially the lower portions of them. It's not horrible, but I don't know. It's just something that bugs me a little bit. Just looking at it in certain angles feels weird. I do really like the upper body. The way that it was done on the old Jetfire, it didn't put the bulk in the correct areas, but on this one, it gets it right and it looks fantastic. He comes with his cane and his ax. The cane, I feel, is a bit too short. You have to hunch him over forward quite a bit to get the cane to touch the ground. But one of my friends pointed out to me that Rog or Red Cog exists and he comes with a pipe. So I use that as an extension to his cane and now it feels a lot better to me. The axe is cool. Now he can bisect Mixmasters all day long. The silver application on the blades is very nice. I think they did a very good job on that. Kind of wish the wires were picked out a little bit like they are in the arms, but eh, oh well. I like the posability. I have one problem and that's with the head, which is what the original one had as well because the original one had a gimmick in its head where you pulled its chest and it would look around. This one, it's just limited left and right. That's as far as it goes, left and right. And it's really annoying when you want him to like, he can't look any further. There's no, you can't pull it out to like make it look around and stuff. It's just, I don't like that. You can, you can rotate this way, right? And you can look up that far and look down that far and these kind of move, but that's it. That's all he has for left and right. Little bummed out by that. Shoulders can rotate in and out, bicep, bend. The wrists have a really interesting setup. Let's get a little closer. You have a hinge here, a hinge here, and a swivel here. So he's got double jointed wrists and then a wrist swivel, which is really cool. I do wish that there was like a swivel here at the middle so you can bend the hands inward by twisting it, but eh, that's asking for a little too much. Now there's nothing at the waist just due to the way this guy transforms and how he has to combine with Prime. And honestly, you don't really need anything at the waist for Jetfire because he's Jetfire. Hips are on really nice ratchets. I wasn't expecting that. They can go in and out. You got your thigh swivel. You have this ratchet and this ratchet here, which are also. That's like Unicron trilogy levels. I love it. Um, you also have this rotation here. You have foot forward and back and an ankle pivot. So, and if you want to, you can move the heel spur to get even more of like a forward toe sort of thing. So, ah. He's pretty posable for Jetfire, except for that stupid head thing. I just, I don't like that. Transformation feels very leader class. It's complex in a fun way, but there are some things that clash like the original Jetfire, only not as loose. Getting the canopy out can be a bit of a pain and tabbing the tail fins into the thrusters on the left side of mine is difficult, but the rest of it is fun and interesting. It shares nothing with the original version. And honestly, it works better than that one in my opinion. Jet mode is, it's nice. It's my favorite jet and they did it justice. The red stripes are so sick. It's so minimal, but it really helps give that swooping look and feel to the back of the jet. 
The legs on mine don't like to tab in, which can get annoying, and the cable -y bits don't store as well as the original, and they like to pop out sometimes. The under kibble is a lot cleaner though than on the old one, but the head hanging out there, I don't like it. It's, it's really ugly, it just sticks out, just ruins the look a bit for me. It's hard because this is the thinnest section of the jet, the nose, and the head just sticks out like a lump. I'm just not a fan. The weapon storage is very good. The axe stores on the back, and it hides away quite well, and the walking stick slides into the front as landing gear, and now I know why it's as small as it is. Next to the old one, it's quite a small jet, and it does not scale with most Studio Series toys, but, and I mean, that doesn't really bother me that much. It, I still think it looks cool. I think it's damn better than the original, even though the original is still great. But that's not all he does. It can combine with Prime, the SS32 or SS44 versions. He's supposed to come with an alternate chess piece for SS44, Dark of the Moon Prime, to assist in the combination because he's got the Dark of the Moon chest, so this comes with an extra Revenge of the Fallen one. But as I got this used, mine didn't come with that, but I don't care. The combination sequence is parts forming, but like, that's how it worked in the film. And this is also where Jolt becomes really important to the film. He basically does this for them. He like, he's the one who causes this to happen. And I'm still surprised people forget that he exists. Smashing this whole thing together was pretty unique and a lot better than the original. And it ends up looking fantastic. I would have shot a shot with my Jolt here, but I have misplaced him. I have no idea where he's gone. This is the best I think the combined mode has looked from two transformable mainline toys, but there's really not a lot. <laughs> this looks awesome. It's large and dense and doesn't feel like it's going to fall over. Everything just feels nice and solid. It's not perfect. The Prime's feet just hang out at the front there and it looks a bit ugly. There's no cable for the big gun. The big gun itself is way too heavy for Prime. Side note about the cannon, the big arm cannon, a lot of people say that it's an undocumented feature and I assume that means in the Hasbro instructions it's not there. But I googled the Takara instructions and it's in the Takara instructions so it's not exactly undocumented, it's just Hasbro left it out for some, I don't know, cheap I guess, I don't know. It feels chunky and sturdy, the large feet really help keep it planted. The ankle tilts go the wrong way though, that's a bit of a bummer to me. But he has enough armaments to rip the Fallen's face off. Also, this is box set Prime for those of you who are wondering, so this is what the 15th anniversary Prime looks like with Jetfire combined. I, I like Jetfire a lot easily top five studio series toys for me. The whole package feels well worth that resale price. Like it feels like you're getting this for a deal actually for the retail price it would have gone for, which I believe was 70 Canadian dollars. It, it's, that's a lot. That's a lot of toy you're getting for 70. And if you can find it for that much, I highly recommend it. I paid retail for this thing used, but I still feel like that's worth it. He's the same size as old leader toys from the movies. Like that's how big he is. I yeah, and the Fallen apparently is the same size. I I can't wait for that. But that's been my look at Studio Series Jetfire. Follow me on Twitter and Instagram, and I'll see you next time. Bye bye.